Hello guys, welcome back to this final weapons guide for Remnant 2, where I'm going over how to get the toughest weapons to find, the Rune Pistol, Meridian, and a third one that I don't have as it's currently bugged, but I'll show you exactly how to get it, and that is Nightshade. Now to get the Rune Pistol, you will need to give the Ravenous Medallion to the Nightweaver's Web. However, as many of you might know, the Great Hall spawns in the Phalent Feyrin world, that starts in the Beatific Palace. And you can't take it to the other world where you start in the Morrow Parish. And if you try to take it from one world to the other, all the stuff will disappear from your inventory. But there is one door in the Nightweaver world, the one that starts in the Morrow Parish, that can spawn the Great Hall and the Council Chambers as well. Unfortunately, it's near the end, so re-rolling this and trying to get it to spawn is a bit time-consuming. So as you can see, I'm here in the Lassam Nightweaver version, and I have the Great Hall. If you play all the way through the Somme, through the Maru Parish, the Con Kiln, and you go through the Asylum, Nimue will teleport you to the Forsaken Quarter. In this area, there are two regular dungeons and two dungeons that will spawn with shiny yellow doors. One of these doors will be the way to continue the main quest, will have an exclamation. The second door is the one you're looking for. And I should point out, it doesn't always spawn this door, one time I didn't have two doors, I had just the one with the main quest and a sewer, but every other time I did this, it did have this door. Now once you open the door, you have a 1 in 3 chance of getting the Great Hall. Sometimes it's a council chambers, sometimes it's something else like the Gilded Hall, but the reason it takes so long to get the Rune Pistol is because it takes a long time to re-roll this area and reach this door, the door that might not even spawn, and then once you go through the door, the Great Hall might not even spawn either, so it took me around five hours of constantly resetting the area and returning to finally get the Great Hall to spawn. It might take even longer for you, or it might take a bit shorter. But either way, this is going to be the toughest weapon to get. So once you're inside the Great Hall, make your way to the kitchen and pick up the Ravenous Medallion, and whatever you do, don't use it on the door inside of the Great Hall. Now you have to simply take it to the Nightweaver web inside the, the Tormented Asylum, and you will get rewarded with an item that you can take to Nimue, who will craft the rune pistol for you. Next guys, we have Meridian. This will spawn at any of the sewers in Le Somme. For me, it was in Tiller's Rest, but it can spawn in any of the sewer levels. And what you're looking for is a section that looks like this. A ladder up to a square platform, and there is a secret tunnel behind some crates. Now for me, I searched six different sewers before this event spawned, but sewers are very common in Le Somme, and so you shouldn't have too much problems trying to find it. Once you're here, you need to destroy the slugs, including the one blocking the water pipe. Then you need to wait 90 real life minutes for the water to fill the room. But you can go away and come back. You don't need to stay in the sewers. Just make sure that you don't re-roll your campaign and you can do other stuff and then come back 90 minutes later and pick up this weapon. You need to jump across the platforms, which again is quite tough. And on the other side, you will get your gun. So the final weapon for me to collect was the Nightshade weapon. This is given as a reward for defeating the Nightweaver, the final boss in the Somme, if you destroy her heart first before you kill her. To do this, you shoot her when she is summoning the little creatures during her first phase, she will turn blue. And if you do this correct and destroy her heart, she will fall to the ground and she will be this weird shimmering dark blue color in the second phase. If she's not, then you can just restart your game and try again because the checkpoint is just before the boss fight. But once you defeat her, you're supposed to get a bunch of stuff, including a finger used to craft Nightshade, as seen in this video. But for me, as you can see, I didn't get any rewards except for the trait point, so I don't even get the regular rewards for defeating her. And I did try twice to make sure that it wasn't just a one-time bug, but the same thing happened again, so I'm not going to try a third time until they fix the bug. So guys, that's it. I have one final vid where I'm going to showcase all the unique weapons in-game, minus the Nightshade, of course. And I might give a quick description on how to get each one of those as a recap. But thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with more guide videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.